everybody. I promised you a video on training patience. Uh, something that I jokingly say miniature pinchers don't inherently have. The patient is like a button. You have to build it for them. Priya here is very, very eager to do something because I have my training belt on. She knows I have treats. So she's trying to figure out what I want her to do for them. I thought that a good place to start with patients tra training with an adult dog, because as most of you know, I've gotten all three of my miniature pinchers as puppies, seven or eight weeks old. Priya has been here since, since she was born. Uh, I welcomed her to the world and now she's staying here with me. Uh, so with puppies, I usually start the, the patient's training with uh, feeding. Uh, teaching them that unless they sit, the bowl won't come to the ground. And uh, <laughs> sounds really hard, but it isn't because they are really smart. I usually just stand there with the bowl because in puppies and dogs in general, uh, sit is something they offer very freely so as soon as the puppy sits i hurry up to put down food so they get the reward for doing what i want uh, and with time i do it so that unless they remain sitting the bowl does not reach the ground so I can be standing there with the bowl, the dog can be sitting. If it stands up, I stand up straight again. It doesn't take many tries for the dog to understand that the food won't be served unless they sit. And the first step is to have them sitting until the bowl reaches the ground and then they eat. The second step is having them wait for a command to release for them to eat. But this is how I do it with puppies. But since all my dogs already know this, I really can't show you how to teach that. I can only try to explain it as best I can. So I thought I would start with the command I think is really important. Most of you saw it now in my video with the geese. And uh, in Swedish, the word, word is lemna. So when you hear this, you know what I'm asking for. She's still trying to figure out what she should do to get the treats. It's so funny, offering everything she knows. Um, but when you start the leave it training, there's something really important to know. If you teach dog to leave something, that's not like a weight command that they have to withstand for a moment and then get it. If I decide, that the treats I have in this hand is for leave it. This dog may never eat these treats that I am asking it to leave. Because if I do give them, it will eat away on the foundation of leave it. Because the leave it command isn't as much for fun as for function. The leave it command can save your dog's life when you're out walking and you find a poison bait or something that could be it, a suspicious meatball, something that sends the alarms in your brain saying this could be dangerous for my dog. And if you say leave it and they know this command, they won't touch it. Because if you say leave it, it means you are never ever in this lifetime allowed to touch this. So you start with some treats in your hand and usually your dog is accustomed to being able to take them from her hand, right? Priya hasn't really exercised this a lot. So that's why I thought this could be a great place to start and show you. So as soon as she decides not to have her nose near the treat, I will give her a reward from my other hand. 
Ukti. And as you see, we've done this a few times and she's very bright. So she's already exercising leave it without a command. Even if I'm putting the hand near her, she is moving her snout away from the treats because she knows this is a leave it exercise. I haven't even said the word except for that one time in the beginning telling you that is the word I use in Swedish. Uh, so she automatically thinks that we're going to do something really fun today. <laughs> and this is actually pretty boring for the dog. As you can see, now that she's doing it without the cue, this is where you want to get with your dog. That they move away from the treats without you having to say the word. When you are certain they won't eat the treat, that is when you add the word. Because then the dog already knows it. Now you're just giving a cue for the function. This is the best way to train any dog to do anything. Like sitting or laying down or anything. When you have found a cue for some kind of signal or a posture that they understand means this. Like for me, when I want my dogs to lie down, I taught them by having treats in my hand and having them by the floor until they lay down. So they learned that only by laying down flat, they get the treats when the hand is on the floor. Then I could add the command and now they know lie down, which is leak in Swedish. Leak, as you can see. So now I'm going to have her leave it. Lemna. Dukti. Lemna. Dukti. It's funny to watch different dogs do this because she is so treat driven, she can't even look at them. My eldest, her mom, that's nine and a half now, she can look at whatever I'm asking her to leave it and still withstand. But Priya knows her st herself. She knows if she looks at it, she's going to want to take it. So she doesn't even look at it. Lemna. Dukti. Lemna. Dukti. I put the treat in front of her on the ground. I don't know if it's quite in frame. I'm just filming this with my mobile phone. So I'm sorry, no professional video. That's why there is a glare on the, from the white background and everything. Lemna. Lemna. Dukti. Oh, what do you do? Fig. Her nose went near these treats and she decided not to take them. She wavered. So I rewarded her for making the right decision. Lemna. Wow, dukti. Lemna. I have them right beside her face. Dukti. Bra. Now Priya is a sweetheart and a very easy min pin because just like her mother, I think this is partly genetics, uh, she's very in tune to wanting to please me. She has a great will to please. Uh, I have been told that not many miniature pinchers have this, but I've seen more and more of them, so they're out there. Um, and this means it's easier to train her because she strives to do what I want her to do. So start with your dog at home. Teach them, leave it. You can make it harder and harder. First, you have the treats in your hand and you have it in a fist so that basically there's a little air hole so they can smell it, but they can't get to it. And when they choose to step away from it, you treat. Now she took a step back, testing me, is this still leave it? And it's so... I, I hope some of you will make a video when you're doing this with your dog because it would be really fun to see how your dog acts. How fast they pick up.
that what you want is for them to not go near the treats in your hand. Did you see her doing a reverse? <laughs> and as she is very driven and wants to actually work, <laughs> she's still trying to get me to do something else. That's for next video. Uh, I'm gonna make soon another video how to start training weight because I have a few videos on it but not really the basics but uh, from the state where we are because Priya is an agility dog she really needs to have a very firm and uh, assertive stay and wait for a release because when she's out there on the agility course, she doesn't want to do anything more than do those hurdles. So for me to make her wait for permission to start doing them is our challenge right now. I hope this video was good and you informative. And if you have any questions, do ask. I will answer. And uh, if there are any details you would love me to show, or go through, I will. Uh, my dogs are always up for it. And uh, until next time. Three, go, see.